This used to be a living room, and while people are still living here without walls or working electricity, it's tough to call an actual room. It's like camping, but it's still not easy. Like, it's not easy to live like this. But for months, this is how Jillian Snyder and her roommates have been living. One working outlet, one hot plate to cook food. No wiring, no walls, no real privacy to speak of. So we still have no walls, and we still have, you know, there's still 100-year-old dust bunnies that fall in my bathtub. The saga all started in January when a fire started in her attic. It spread and most of her interior had to be taken down to the studs. Work soon began on the teardown, but that's when Snyder says SGI cancelled her coverage abruptly. They essentially dropped their hammers and left the house looking like this. And with nowhere else to go, Snyder moved back in. We were completely and absolutely blindsided. I could not figure out what any reason that they would have. To, to do that. Snyder is now in a legal fight with SGI, trying to get money to finish the house. In a statement, SGI says, quote, in this industry, there are, on occasion, disagreements between an insurer and a customer about insurance contracts. That statement goes on to say that the insurance company is aware of the case and continues to gather facts. But as the case works its way through the court, Snyder has more immediate concerns. She needs to get the insulation and wiring done in this house before winter. She hopes that'll be enough to stay warm. Charles Hamilton, CBC News, Saskatoon.